officials for allegedly demanding cash before signing employment letters. So we're talking about 1 million naira, 1.5 million naira per letter, allegedly. According to the Vanguard, the federal government and all state governments have budgeted over 19 trillion naira for salaries this year. That's our big hardback today. 19 trillion. That's a lot of civil service jobs and a lot of money. And that means a lot of opportunity for employment rackets, for ghost recruitments, for other illegal schemes. But today, I shall want to look at employment rackets specifically. Because a lot of Nigerians are unemployed. Lots of them are desperate to find work. Many officials see that as an opportunity. And they basically sell these jobs to whoever is ready to bribe them. Bribe them up front. So let's talk about that for the rest of the hour. Let's talk about that. I want you to tell me if you have ever been in that situation. Or if you know someone who has been in that situation. Let's also talk about what can be done to crack down on this thing. 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. Have you ever been asked to pay to get a job? Talk to me about employment rackets. Have you encountered one? Did you ever apply for a government job only to be told that you need to settle somebody before they could give you? What about non-government jobs? Does it happen in the private sector too? What did you do when they say you have to settle to get this work? You can be anonymous if you want. You don't need to tell me your name, honestly. Or do you know somebody it happened to? Somebody who has faced it? Maybe it was an auntie, maybe your husband, maybe your wife, maybe your child, maybe your friend. Do you know a government office where it happens a lot? Where if people want to get a job in that government office, they need to pay somebody up front. 0700-993-993-993-0700-993-993-993. Also call me on 0146- and then there's whatsapp whatsapp is 080-959-75805 hello Sorry about that. Call back if you can. Hi, good evening. Hello, good evening, Sandra. Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is Fred. I'm, call I'm calling for you. Fred, have you ever been asked to pay to get a job? Yes. Tell me about it. In 2007. Can you turn I your radio off so that we can hear you? Have you ever been asked to pay to get a job? When did it happen? Where did it happen? Did you pay? Why didn't you pay? 99.3. Hello. 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 Oh. All right. Call back if you can. Let's go to WhatsApp and see. Uh, we've got a lot of messages here. Uh, this one says, uh, this is from David. Uh, David says, apparently there's no job from local governments to states down to federal government, whether military or civil jobs, that you will not pay. I paid in six digits until now I've not gotten the job. It's so bad that even menial jobs such as cleaners, housework, security jobs, etc. all pay these sums. It's crazy. It's bizarre. The worst thing is that in some cases you never get these jobs. David, thank you for your message. David says he paid but he's still not gotten the job he paid for. My goodness. 99.3, hello. Okay, sorry about that. At least we have a lot of shy callers today. 99.3, hello. <laughs> hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's your name, sir? My name is uh, Pastor Stephen. Welcome, Pastor Stephen. Have you ever been asked to pay to get a job? I don't know. I don't know if it's allowed to and if you allow me to talk about the Bakare issue. Oh, no. We've moved on from it, Pastor. But thank you very much for calling. 
Sorry about that. Call me back if you can. 99.3, hello. Hello, ma'am. How are you, sir? I'm oh, fine. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is Edbel. Edbel, have you ever been asked to pay to get a job? Yeah. Okay, tell me and about it. It happens in everywhere in this Nigeria. Tell me about Almost your tell about me about your own experience. My own experience they taught me to bring about five hundred thousand which I which I did that and they did not even give me the job. where? And I did not for Ibadan. So what uh, was it private uh, or was it government? What who asked you to bring five hundred thousand? It's the Nigeria police. Nigeria police. Yes. Okay. And they asked you to bring 500,000 and you gave it and yes. you still didn't get the job. And I gave to the person and at the end of the day there is nothing. Was the person a Nigerian police staff? I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So I don't know. Why did you did, why did, why did you think that this person asking for 500,000 would be able to give you that job? Yeah. They give me assurance of everything. And I did. I see. Okay. All right. Thank you very much for calling. And I'm really sorry about that experience. Um, the reason I was asking, you know, in his particular story is, what if it's just some random person coming to meet you and say, oh, no, I have the ability to give you this work. Pay me 500000 I'll give it to you, you know? I mean, what if the police is not even aware? I, again, I'm not holding brief for the police. I'm just saying, you know, how do you know that the person who's approaching you and saying, oh, I'm going to give you this job, actually works for the place and is able to give you the job um, after you pay 500000 naira. It's still biz bizarre that people are being asked to pay money f to get jobs, but um, that's why I was asking him uh, those questions to get clarification. Have you ever been asked to pay to get a job? We're asking this question today because of the Federal Character Commission. If you've been paying attention to the news, they have been appearing before the House of Reps, the Federal House of Reps. Uh, Federal House of Reps is investigating the chairwoman and other officials at the Federal Character Commission for allegedly demanding cash before signing employment letters my guy they're signing up to one five one one million they are collecting up to one million one five allegedly and when you think about the fact that the federal government and all state governments have budgeted over 19 trillion for salaries this year you know that okay that's a lot of civil service jobs that's a lot of money that's a lot of opportunity for wuru wuru for ghost workers for illegal schemes but we're focusing on employment rackets specifically because people are unemployed. People are, are looking for work. People are desperate to find work. And you have these officials who take this an opportunity to take advantage of these really desperate people looking for work. Have you experienced it? Have you been in that situation? Do you know someone who's been in a situation where they have had to pay money to get a job or they have had to walk away from a job because they couldn't find the money to pay? Or, like I'm finding out now from several people who are calling, they have paid the money for the job, but the job never showed up. The numbers to call are 0700-993-993-993-01465-7190. It may not be you personally, maybe a friend, maybe a sister or brother, it may be a husband or a wife, maybe your child. Have you ever been asked to pay a job? And yes, you can talk to me anonymously as well. Good evening, how are you? Hello. Hi. Evening. Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is Don and Sam. Welcome. Talk Don to me. From the day today. Good to have you on the show. Yeah. We, this discussion you are discussing, uh, mm. it has started from the beginning. Who said that? Who did that? Oh, that's unfortunate. You're going to have to give me a call back, okay? 99.3? Hello. Good Hello. evening. What's your name, sir? Good evening. I want to remain anonymous. That's fine. Welcome. Talk to me. Okay. Yeah. I'm also a victim. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in my own case, they collected 700000 Oh, my goodness. And uh, up to now, the guy is still bragging. I will send you the video later. Okay. And his name is by name. Am I free to call yeah, his yeah, name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're free to call his name, yes. Okay. Obadoni Sondi Eze. Okay. That what, is his name. What's this job supposed to be? 
Uh, it's a federal job. Federal job. What ministry? Job. What ministry? Eh? What ministry? What federal ministry? Okay, Ministry of Petroleum. So, Ministry of Petroleum, he made this person made you pay seven hundred thousand naira. How long yes, ago? Did, how, long did, how long did? How long ago did you pay that money? That should be two thousand and twenty. 2019. 2019. 2019. 700,000 since then, until now. Yeah, even gave me, even gave me uh, appointment letter. Okay. Appointment letter. Oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. So, yeah. what job were you, was he supposed to get for you? Did you submit a CV? Like, tell me, walk me through the process. How did it work? Okay. Actually, because I know he has done it for somebody anyway. Okay. That. Presently, the person is working. People, the people that he did for, they are all working mainly. Okay. But in that case, I don't know. Not only me, there were much that uh, later turn up the thing. The thing did not work anymore. Uh, so he will tell you there is um, uh, an opening, internal opening, not uh, an external. So hmm. and that opening, he will say, okay, we want to that they want. To the director said they want money so that they will do replacement, that kind of. So that is how it, it happens. Ah, I see. All right. Thank you so much, Anonymous, for calling, and thank you for sharing that story with us. We've got uh, a message here on WhatsApp. The main people doing the racket are not talking, and they are not facing panel. Sandra, five to six million for CBN job. That's what they asked my friend and I to pay. Me, I didn't see the money to pay, but my friend did, and she works for CBN now. That's why you ha have you ever seen CBN doing recruiting? My goodness, my goodness. Anonymous with this message here on WhatsApp, alleging that for CBN, the recruitment money you're paying is five to six million. Goodness, goodness. Ha. We've got this one here who says, I went to seek for a job um, and the man in charge of the employment called me on the phone, told me to come and meet him in a hotel before I could get the job. When I pressed further, I was told that the other option is to pay in cash. That was last year. They wanted to open a new branch in the place then. Um, this person is alleging that this happened at Domino's Pizza, Iba, First Gate Bus Stop, or your local government area. Hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. What's the name of this man who allegedly um, uh, made this request of you? Do you know? Anonymous? Thank you very much for sharing. We've got Israel who says, When I went for service in Abuja, I was told that I was told to pay to be able to serve in Nepa office zone 4 in Abuja. I just left angrily. If they could do that to a copper looking for a proper job, uh, then what will happen to the country? Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much for your message. Let's see. We've got um, Tunde Nilasa who says, I was asked to pay 20K to be employed by Oceanic Bank in 2008 as an office assistant, but I couldn't pay the money then. Tunde from Elasa, thank you very much for your message. 20K in 2008 was a lot of money. We've got uh, Victor from Shomalu who says, um, how much is their salary that they will pay 500 to 1 million? If I have 1 million, I will not work salary work. You'll be surprised how very quickly um, <laughs> 1 million will disappear. We've got uh, this one here um, from Chooks. In Lekki, Chooks says, My sister my sister was asked to pay 110000 in 2015 by a church member to get a job in the Delta State House of Assembly. She paid the money and still didn't get the job. The man promised to pay her back the money. Five years has have gone by, no refund. Now the man is dead. The man in question was once a secretary of a local government authority in Delta State. Chooks, thanks for your message. I've got Justice who says, a friend of mine told me that there's a job vacancy in one of the Southern Nigerian State Hospital Board for the position of medical radiographer, but the person must pay one million naira for the job. Upon inquiry, the startup for the job is 160,000. I told the person that I wasn't looking again for anybody because of the pay. This was last week. In this current economy and demand for medical professionals, only few federal universities in Nigeria offer radiology. Ah, goodness. So at a time when we don't have doctors, we allegedly have um, a job vacancy open to only those that can pay a million naira allegedly to get the job and the startup startup salary for that role is 160,000 naira. 
Okay. If you just tuned in, good evening. I'm asking, have you ever been asked to pay to get a job? Did you ever apply for a government job only to be told that you need to settle before you get it? Have you ever un encountered a job bracket? Have you tried to apply to a non-government job and been faced with you have to pay? You can be anonymous. Do you know someone who has faced this before? Do you know a government office where it happens steady, steady? 0700 993 993 993 993 993 993 993 993 0145 7190. 0700 993 993 993 0145 7190. Hello, thanks for calling. Thank you, Sandra. Wow. Good evening, ma. <laughs> My name is Amazing. I'm, I'm calling from Asha. Amazing. Have you ever been asked to pay to get a job? Yes. Where? In Portacourt then, okay. although it was from a family member, okay. my aunt okay. kept disturbing me that there's this opening that I must take it. Then I used to run a small business. Okay. So I told her I was not interested in any job, but I didn't have the enough capital to put into my business. Right. So I decided to give it a try. Right. I paid 35,000 naira okay. and I paid for two slots for myself and my husband. Okay. But she told me that it's a, ministry, it's a federal ministry job, job okay. but that when the appointment letter come out, that's when we are going to pay, but the amounts were not specific as at that time. Okay. She said between 500 and 1 million, depending on the ministry you're going to choose. Okay. Uh -huh. So, <laughs> this country, they are, this is just the one that you have heard. And Sandra, <laughs> come, if you go down, right. even as small as local government, right. you have to pay before you get a job. And then people are looking for jobs. Uh, you heard, now, the, you heard the babe that said that even to, even a pizza parlor, to, to, to yes, get a so. job inside pizza parlor, she, they were being, they were being, she was being asked to either have sex with the manager or pay money. You can just imagine. And then even businesses, little small businesses that are just trying to survive. Mm. The country is still messing things up for us. Mm. Which are we going to do to survive, Nancy mm. Sandra? Mm. <laughs> mm. My God day, sir. God day. Thank you very much for calling. Omo, how are we going to get out of the trenches if this is what is happening, you know, in the civil service and in corporate Nigeria? But again, these are just a few examples. So maybe it's a minority, you know. I mean, we've gotten, what, four calls read what five six messages that's like 10 complaints you know so maybe it's not widespread i don't know what do you think 99.3 hello hello sandra good thanks. evening good evening thanks for calling hey it's Matthew calling from here welcome talk to me has this happened to you it has happened to me to me it's a very horrible experience it says that i do salary work and i saved my money for a whole year Tell me your story. To use it to join Nigeria Air Force. Okay. They asked me to pay 200000 Okay. And I had thought I, I did not pay that. Me and one of my friends, my friends was it because he paid. Okay. So I tried to gather my salary for a whole year and I paid. Believe me, I never had that opportunity. And up to now, it's been a story. And ever since then, I've made up my mind not to try that. Oh. Oh, my goodness. And what year was this? What year did you apply for this? That was the year 2020. 2020. Because, yes, the first time was 20, uh, 2010. And my friend paid and it was it. So 2020, I now decide to pay. So when I paid, I never thought it. Hmm. It's a very, very bad experience for me because I gathered that money for a whole year out hmm. of my salary job that I do earn a little from. Right. I starved myself all this while. And, at the end of the day, I managed not getting the job and my money gone, just like that. Just like that. I'm really sorry about your experience. Honestly, this is not something that should be happening at all. It's it's uh, it's appalling that it is happening and seems to be happening. Well, it's too early to say what you know whether it's happening on a large scale or not. So let's let's take a few more stories. Ninety nine point three. Hello. President Sandra. Sir. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening. What's your name, sir? Good evening. Welcome. Yes, please go ahead. <laughs> Sandra, I, I did hear you. <laughs> what happened? What did you do? The way they go on, uh, this is the way they shake. It goes kata. I make it kata now. <laughs> make it kata. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, President Sandra. They don't even, ask you to pay before. Even in the university, you call. University? No one, no one talks about that one. What happened for university? They pay for lecturer work. When lecturer, they collect, oh God, no, 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 lecturer collecting money for sorting. That one a different story, eh? But make we make we deal with job. 
they, they, they don't ask you before, make you bring money for work. So you send a, yeah. a 300k, I say that the job will come out. 300k um, for where? Where? <laughs> federal, no, no, federal, federal, no. federal waiting. Federal level, no, federal ministry of work. Mm. Federal Ministry of Works. Yes. So who 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 tell you to pay this money? Tell me the story. As you did anonymous, so nothing they happen. Tell me the story. Who who meets you? They, they will recognize my voice. Oh, I, I see. see. Okay. Why you don't they work there now? <laughs> no, I know they work there. So you pay the three hundred thousand works you no know, show. I do work no show. Hmm. Thank you very much for calling. Interesting. Okay. We've got uh, more people here. We've got uh, this one is, uh, you didn't leave your name, but you say that this is true, especially with federal government jobs. Ministry of Labor did it in 2017. For a job of level eight, you pay 800,000. Level six, you pay 400,000. It happened to members of my church in Abuja. Thank you very much. Uh, David EBM says, I was asked to pay procurement fee of 10,000 to get a job in Lasso, even without a qualification. It was when I confided in someone concerning the issue that the person advised me not to because the person had questionable character. All right. Zika from Lekki says, in 2012, I was asked to pay 500,000 naira by someone from my village who works with the government. But then, as at the time, I was asked to pay this. If I had that money, why would I be looking for a job instead of going into business? I even begged the man to collect half of it, pending when I get my first salary. I will balance. The man refused. So I asked the man to give the job to the next person on the line or any of his family members. Zika, thank you for sharing this story with me. Uh, Chris in Accra says, oh, by the way, Chris in Accra was in, in Lagos uh, a few days ago. I think it was last week. And he came to the studio to say hi. It was really nice to meet Chris in Accra. Chris says, in 2008, I got an offer to pay 200,000 naira for a slot for my wife in FRC after she left Zenith Bank. She attended the screening. She passed the exam, but she was told that Emo State had only seven slots and she had to pay the fee to get one of the spaces is left. In 2019, my wife and I contributed 500000 for her relative to get an opening at the Ministry of Humanita Humanitarian Affairs. She got that job and helped them get palli palliative support and she's doing well in that ministry now and I think it's return on investment for their family. In 2017, my sister approached me to get my wife's CV as she had a slot in National Population Commission. It was an attractive salary proposition but my family was already rooted in Accra and I didn't want to move them back to Nigeria. My sister said Said she was to pay one million naira for that slot. So Chris has stories from 2008, 2019, 2017. Goodness. So this is essentially what normal behavior for us. Like this is just eh, no, it's in the happen now. <laughs> We're never getting out of the trenches. We're never leaving the trenches. Never. Ha! Eh? 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 Chineke, God of Africa, Jesus. <laughs> All right. I've got more messages here. Let's take a look. Paul Nijesha says, My immediate junior brother paid multiple times up to 700k to secure immigration or civil defense jobs, but he got none. He didn't tell me at the time. When I got to know of it, I was bitter. I told him he was scammed when he could not tell me the identity of the person in charge of giving out the jobs. He didn't believe he kept hope alive that he would get the job, as al -Haji has promised. It's been more than nine years. No job, no money, no al <laughs> Oh, oh, Paul from Ijesha, I'm really sorry that that's your sibling's experience. Uh, I've got an MD from Sulilere who says, Sandra, I remember paying 15000 in 2013 for a technologist position at Alausa. After all that I did, I did not get the job. Namdi, thank you very much for sharing that with me. I'll take a break now. When we come back from this break, Lagos, it will be time to get more of your stories. Have you ever been asked to pay to get a job? Where did it happen pass? Which office did it happen pass? Where did it happen pass? It's okay. That is okay. No, it's okay. Let me explain It's okay. Now. It's okay. Uh, she, 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 off the mic. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 On ninety-nine point three Nigeria Info. Google Play Store subscriptions. Go ahead. 
Ask your bank for World Cash today to start making easy payments in Naira and keep enjoying all the benefits of the digital store. Then, enjoy the good life. Stay up. All you 
Madrid to unlock the Finance of the Future. Future Business, Madrid Market Financial, key to financial empire. Whether you're saving for your dream or growing your business, Lozoros has got your back. We are innovative solutions, our personalized service. We make banking simple and convenient. Mirlo, the Boros Microfinance Bank, offers flexible options with competitive interest rates. And so our valued customers reward you with exclusive benefits and rewards. It's time to take control of your financial future. Join the Boros Microfinance Bank today. The Boros Microfinance Bank. Your partner for profit. Join us now and let's take that financial ride. The Boros Microfinance Bank, your profit financial partner. This is our nearest branches or visit our website at www.lebonosmfb.com. For more information, you can email us at info at lebonosmfb.com or call 090-527-7090-11 or 070-6288-5315.
Black can find that work, get a sticker you put 1,000 miles away thrown in the network, you're welcome, 900% bonus on every recharge, 100% data bonus for six months, and double data bonus on your first recharge of the month. That's the nine confirmed plan from Nine Mobile, and it's lit. To get a new SIM or dial star 1400 hash and start browsing, sharing, and creating more on Nine Jack's confirmed network. Nine Mobile, here for you, here for Nine Jack. day with the nutritious and delicious goodness of golden mall now available in 30 grams 45 grams 300 grams 600 grams and 900 grams pack a pack size for everyone golden mall make every day golden formula block natural calcium in our skin and helps protect them from calluses. It's time to upgrade to the world's most healthy food taste, Colgate, because Colgate's enough calcium already to get excited. Colgate, recommended by veterinarians and tasteful eaters. Cowbell Pizza is back with more subjects and more entertainment. And up to 100 million naira worth of prizes, scholarships, and Cowbell products. Introducing the new Prince Master. And your host, the stunning Linda and the Whore, Fox Sport TV Super Pure Junior on Africa Master, NBA, and GBC. Cowbell Pizza, so good, so small. Another season of the biggest reality show in Africa is here again. And the question is, how thirsty are you? So more hot farm drama and rap tools, more nail-biting soft belly, more hot farm veggies, and of course, more Lagos and Sandra F. Jacquetini, what can be done to stop employment rackets? Can they even be stopped? Before the break, um, I was asking you if you have ever been asked to pay to get a job. Have you ever encountered job rackets? Did you ever apply for a government job only to be told, oh, you go got settle somebody first so before you get a more? Uh, what about non-government jobs? Have you ever had to like apply and they say, "Ah, you gas pay twenty k, thirty k, three hundred k, seven hundred k, six million. Somebody alleged that in a particular agency in Nigeria, they're paying as much as five, six million to get the jobs there. It don't happen to you. It don't happen to person where you know. Call me and tell me about it. That's the conversation we had before the break. Now I did ask you whether you get what we feel do to stop this thing because how many people get twenty thousand? If I find work, you need to say I need money. Because let's be real, the reason that we're all looking for work is because we need money. Sure, I mean, sure, I can help a company be great and all of those nice things. But first and foremost, now money I define. I make a, I need your work, sir. And we are work, man. You know? And then you now have to, they're not asking you out of the money that you came to look for for me, pay me 20,000, pay me 35,000, pay me 100,000, pay me 200,000, pay me 7 million, 6 million, 1 million, 1 1.5. And the reason we're even having this conversation to begin with is because the House of Reps are investigating 
uh, or is because not, not one entity. So House of Reps is investigating uh, Federal Character Commission. So they are investigating the chairwoman of FCC. They are investigating other officials at FCC. And do you know, the, do you know the irony, Lagos? The irony of the Federal Character Commission, like the irony of that, as in the irony of Federal Character Commission doing this. I mean, are you surely the <laughs> the 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 um the irony is not lost on you, right? Right? Because Federal Character Commission na agency where their work now to ensure say federal character principle of fairness and equity in distribution of public posts and infrastructure is you know fair. And inclusive they are all about character they are all about fairness and inclusion and justice but inside there you have the chairwoman and other staff there alleging and admitting on the record that um, uh, they asked me to pay 1 million 1.5 million to collect work for this commission it's it's ironic that's why i'm asking now what can be done can it be stopped because Clearly, corruption is at work here. You have corrupt people in these offices, all of them ready to extort money, ready to collect bribes. You also shall have applicants who are either corrupt or they're just desperate. But the applicants have the, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They shall have the, the, the option of whistleblowing. Abby? Because theoretically, Lagos, theoretically, they can report the extortionist. So they can say, they can come and blow an alarm. Ah! This place I went to go and collect work. They are asking me to bring money. Alarm, alarm. But that's not happening. Why doesn't that happen more frequently? Why don't we have more whistleblowers against these rackets? Are they afraid? Is it because they don't think anything will come of reporting? Is it because they don't? want the racketing to stop because at least that gives them an opportunity to get the job you know <sighs> so that's that's on my mind that's that's one thought on my mind then there's the offices themselves right why aren't the offices cracking down on these rackets is it because too many people are benefiting directly is it because there's an understanding not to spoil other people's markets so that they will not spoil your own market is it ineffectiveness is there anything that can be done let's be real with each other now i want us to be real because in the first um, few minutes of this conversation you had a lot of people who called and said me they don't ask me to pay i don't pay so let's have a real conversation what can be done to stamp these rackets out? Do we even want these rackets to be stamped out? There was an interesting detail in this ongoing FCC probe. One of the ex-workers says that he helped run the racket on behalf of the chairwoman. According to him, the applicants paid the money into his own account. Then he withdrew cash to go and pay the chairwoman. That way... EFCC and ICPC cannot trace any payments to her. Now, of course, they could have traced the payments to the assistant, so maybe there's something there. Maybe maybe, maybe the assistant unwittingly told us that it gets waiting we feed do, we just know they do. Huh? Maybe the EFCC and ICPC are the answer here. Should the EFCC routinely check banking activity of new civil service employees? Could that help them reveal patterns that could expose an employment racket? That's just an idea. It may be a good idea. It may, it may or may not be a good one. I don't know. We, we, we shall have to start. I don't know. I, I mean, we have to start thinking about ways to end this, right? Because I'm getting reports from as far back as 2006, 2007, 2008. I'm sure as far back as the 90s, Seb, you probably have stories as well. So is this something that we have a problem with? Is this something that we want to end? Could there be mechanisms to detect and stop these rackets? Talk to me, Lagos. 0700 0-0-9-9-3, 0-0-9-9-3, 0-0-9-9-3, 0-0-9-9-3, 0-0-9-9-3, 0-0-9-9-3, 0-0-9-9-3, 0-0-9-9-3, 0-0-9-9-3, 0-0-9-9-3, 0
my name is Jeeves. I'm calling from the city. Welcome to the city. Yeah, 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 Whoa. Sure, you get my point. Okay. Now, when it comes to the job level, do you know it's as high as the fact that some persons, like I've, I've had an experience of the one for for Federal Reserve Corp. Well, the person, the agreement was you get them, and your first three months salary is going to be on a 60 40 basis. Okay. Wow. Sure, you get my point. Okay. The person that gave you the connection gets 60% and you get 40%. Right. And because, because then I was. Still very active playing football. I was like, which kind of rubbish arrangement is that one? So I just exit. Mm. But the one I know very well, because when I was processing admission, trying to get to school, mm-hmm. I don't start mentioning school. Some schools in Lagos, yeah, popular schools in Lagos, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, when you have your cut of mark, just like one mark away from the cut of mark. Right. Some persons start asking you for money. Right. You know, go and bring 100K, go and bring 50K right. for you to get into school. It has eaten so deep. I don't go lie yourself. You want to even get a woman number. Get, uh, maybe you like a female and you want to get a number from a friend and maybe the guy is too shy to ask the friend. Mm. The, female will be, the female will be asking the guy for money. See, you get my point. Ah. It has, it, it, yes. You get my point. You get what I'm driving at. I get what you're driving at. It has eaten so deep. And you want to say uh, they want to investigate, investi- investigate in it. So, so, so what's the way forward? Are, are we just stuck with this? Is this just who we are? Should we just accept no, this, that now our way begins? There, there is a way forward. I tell people that if there are systems in place, proper systems in place, to checkmate whatever is going on, these things will not happen. She you get Yeah. But in a situation where the minister has an essay, an essay has an essay, an essay has an essay, you get my point? Yeah. Before the person is supposed to checkmate, is even in one place enjoying himself. Yeah. It has to get to another person. Everything gets to another person. Before you think it goes down, it has watered down so much that you don't even know who to hold accountable. Oh, my. Nobody to be held accountable. If you have people to be held accountable, those things will stop. Hold people accountable, it will stop. All right. We've got messages on WhatsApp. This country is so evil and wicked. It's unimaginable. Yet the same people will be preaching Christ. That's why you have so many incompetent people in government. We've got uh, this message here that says, the solution is for government to empower civil service commission to do their duties. That's how it was done before 2015. Uh, We have uh, this one here. From Patrick Abel. Patrick Abel says, Sandra, you will be surprised or you are surprised about the federal character having error. If the devil first emerged in heaven and Judas was part of the 12 disciples, where on earth can we not find a black sheep? It's everywhere. Even agents that connect you to a job, you will first you will pay with your first salary. Getting a contract even, you will sort out. They call it watering the ground. It happened to me. Woo. Okay, we've got uh, Oye who says, if only cash payments are requested and the cash is not banked, how will EFCC police that? Ah, interesting point you raise, Oye. Thank you for your message. Jeremiah from the mainland says, like Nigeria may stay longer in suffering and smiling under wicked politicians because the right thing and question is not being asked. That Nigeria, uh, my aunt, my my guy, this story, this thing you're talking. No, we're talking now. Decency from Lagos Island says, laugh one tear claw. Oh, my guy. No, it's you. I message, you want to message Wazuga? You're messaging me. Eh? Eh? Anonymous says, I remember being asked to pay 200K for a job in immigration uh, in 2018. Me, that is stingy to myself to give that kind of money to these people. Anyway, I decided to do about turn. We've got a message here. Uh, when I was serving in Bayelsa State and Port Harcourt in 2018, we sent a message, uh, we sent a message to ask... Uh, to pay 60k to work in shell oil and gas company all coppers were sent this message a guy in my coppers lodge went and paid in our coppers lodge when he found out he was scammed he went to bring police officers it was Emmanuel in our coppers lodge that scammed him because he see him pressing his laptop he thought he was the one no be small fight in our lodge he was not given the job till now but the guy was later released. We all abused him for falling victim. Because, again, there's also job scam. Job scam is different from job racket. Job scam, the person where they front say, if he get power away, no get. Job racket, now, person where they walk inside there, you don't confirm, say, this person, they walk inside there. The person don't tell you, say, ah, 
say see your oh, recruitment day oh, and if you work make you get this work but if you get it before you enter here you go set to me you go set to this person you go set to that person you go set. that one i be racket but job scam i feel where they tell you say did they work for for customs did they auction moto did they all those uh, those ones are job scams those ones are are different you know uh from job rackets but honestly it's a, it's a question we all need to ask ourselves do we want this thing to stop because if more people blew whistles about being asked to pay money, m- maybe it would stop. I don't know, honestly, because I it, it's just something to think about. Because, Omo, Lagos, we're not getting out of the trenches, so. We're not getting out of the trenches, so. If this is happening, and it's so widely, quote-unquote, acceptable for it to happen, we are not leaving the tr- If you like, let a saint be the president or the governor. If this is what is happening at the different like organizations, different NGOs, different GOs, we're not leaving the trenches. I gotta go. I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. I'll be here bright and early. I have a big announcement to make tomorrow at 4. So make sure you're here so that you don't miss it. Tomorrow at 4 p.m., huge personal announcement I'll be making right here on Hard Facts. So tell your friend to tell their friend. Don't miss listening to President Sandra tomorrow. 4 p.m. Pere. After business news, of course. <laughs> I'm Sandra Isaac Osley on social media. Good night, Lagos. More talk, news, and sports after this. No be today with some small, small stretch mark. They try shook fi- And I want to assume that you would run because I want to give the listeners context for the conversation. In 2019, you were running late to um, Atiku Abubakar. What did you learn then that you will not repeat? this time yes when is the president coming out to address us there's a few things one i have a burden and a passion for young people the fact that you have elected a man does not mean then you begin to order him around the president will do whatever is good for the country at any given M- time. mr Adishino, isn't the president responsible to the people what should the next president do to root out stakeholders who are complicit you fire them those that need to be fired are fired looking like a brand new Chelsea attacking with so much fluidity and what can you say about that Martin I know you follow Chelsea quite closely I live close to the Chelsea training ground that's what you mean by that